first of all, I just want to, um, I want to thank God. I want to thank Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, man. Um, I want to thank Bean, um, the Pagulas, um, Coach McDermott. Um, I want to thank my wife. I mean, she's always supported me. Um, I definitely wouldn't be here without her. I want to thank my son Adonis. Um, I want to thank my mom, all my brothers and sisters at home. Uh, I want to thank my friend uh, Joey Maggio and his girlfriend Lydia, my boy Blaine <laughs> and Soshi, and uh, my boy Patrick. Uh, yeah, uh, that's it. Sounds good. All right, we're going to start with Ashley. Hey, Daryl, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Congratulations. You look comfortable. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm laid up in my bed right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, congrats. Like I said, you know, how happy are you to just be staying in Buffalo for, you know, a couple more years? I'm so happy. Uh, I'm like, I'm really, I'm like, I really thank God that we got this done. Cause I mean, being McDermott, the Pagulas, um, all my teammates, the coaches, they, from day one, they made me feel comfortable, man. And I just remember the first day I talked to them, they just said they want me to be myself. And the longer I stayed there, which was, you know, the whole year. And after a few weeks, I, I felt, you know, comfortable in my own skin. So I'm just glad to be back. The last time we spoke, you said that um, just struggling, you know, injuries the last two years, your confidence was low and, you know, your wife was there, God was by your side. And those, like you said, those were the two most important people to you. When you sit back now after this deal and, you know, you're kind of solidified now uh, with your wife, what's it mean, you know, to, to you guys just to get, like you said, to get this done and to know that all your hard work is paying off? Like you said, it means a lot. Like, definitely our hard work has paid off um you know after my third year I had one of the best years of my career and then I get hurt and then I come back to Panthers and I play out of position I have my worst year of my career and then I come to Buffalo not knowing to what to expect where I was even going to play and then it just all worked out you know and that's just a testament to God um and believing in him and you know, believing in my wife, just she just kept telling me I could do it, and I just kept listening to them. So, I love it, man. And just one last question: Is it safe to say that your confidence is maybe a kind kind of high right now in a better place? <laughs> yeah, it definitely is, but I'm still humble, and I'm just I'm I'm just ready to get back at it and, and to get better. All right, thanks, Daryl. Congrats again. Thank you. Hey, Daryl, how are you? Sal Capaccio, WGR Radio. Congratulations to you. Thanks, man. I'm doing good. So, you know, take me back to, you know, post-injury, uh, you're on the free agent market, you know, the bills, they bring you in, you know, how much of that was rewarding, you know, the faith that they had in you to bounce back, to be the player that, you know, you had shown you had a really good year this past year, you know, to, to have that, you know, the, the faith from the organization and the, the trust they're built in to resign. I mean, it meant a lot to me, man. It meant a lot. I know Bean had helped me get drafted um, to the Panthers at first, you know, from what people had told me. Um, so it meant a lot that they trusted me and then and that you put me out there, you know, at the position that I've been playing my whole life, you know, um, you know, and I, it just, it means everything to me. And obviously, um, you know, working with Bobby Johnson, your position coach, you know, how much, how good of a relationship do you have with him and how much did it play into having not only him, but Brian Dable here, some continuity and things like that. Yeah, I have a, a, a good relationship with both of those guys, man. And uh, just knowing that they're both good coaches and I, you know, I, I had to change some things up um, as far as technique and stuff. So I just trusted them. And it's just a testament of how, you know, their techniques work, of how good of a year I had, you know. So I love playing for those guys, man. I just can't wait to get back at it, like I said. Thanks, Daryl. Appreciate you. Hey, Daryl, congrats on the deal. Uh, you talk about just being happy to be back in Buffalo and, and the relationships that you've built with your coaches, but what about your teammates too? I mean, I think a lot of us went into the season thinking the offensive line for the Bills would be intact and the same, but there's a lot of switching and moving around throughout the season. So what do you think in the group that you guys have uh, this upcoming season and why are you excited to be back with them? 
Um, I'm excited to be back because, you know, those are my guys. I've grown, you know, close to those guys, you know, like I said before, I can be myself with them. Um, and like you said, people were, you know, we were shuffling around all year, you know, trying to get it right. But I feel like we got it right towards the end of the year. And that's going to make us even better this year. You know, people don't understand how hard is it to play offensive line and to have that uh, five players, you know, together for the whole year is very important. So, like I said, I'm excited to get back, uh, get back to work, man. And I know we, we're going to be better this year. We spoke to Matt Milano earlier today about how and why he wanted to stay in Buffalo for the foreseeable future, at least the next four years. And he said culture was a huge part of it. Uh, was culture important to you in your decision to stay in Buffalo? And if so, why? Definitely. I was just talking to my wife about it like five minutes ago. And we were just like, man, there's really no big egos on the team. Like there's no selfish people on the team. Everybody's looking out for everybody. You know, it's like a, like, like Milano said, it's a great culture, man, a very great culture. And I was just very blessed to be a part of that last year and be back with it this year. And then hopefully the next three years. Thanks, Daryl. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Hey, Daryl, uh, Matt Perino here. Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, you know, we've, we talked so much during the year about, you know, how happy you were here and, and how it was just great to kind of get back to being yourself and the faith that they showed in you. You spoke about that. Uh, I'm curious, you know, getting a few days away from the start of free agency, not testing free agency, what went into that decision that you were willing to say, you know what, I don't need to do that. I'm, I'm comfortable just signing here. Um, well, <laughs> obviously the numbers at first, I mean, I mean, the numbers for me, me and my agent felt very comfortable with that. Um, and we were very thankful for, you know, being making it happen. And then obviously the, the organization, and I've been saying nothing but good things about it the whole time I've been on here. And since I've gotten there, the organization is amazing. And so it was, I told my agent is definitely, we definitely want to make this our number one spot, you know, before we even hit free agency. So if it can happen, it, it uh, let's make it happen. And it did. So like I said, I thank God that it, that it did. Your um, your Oklahoma uh, brother, uh, he just tweeted out LFG after uh, the news dropped. He's obviously very excited. Um, I'm curious, you know, he's a guy that, you know, I think fans thought was going to be the right tackle. He moved into in the inside. What can you say about what, you know, you learned about him playing with him for one year? Obviously, the resolve that he's going to have to show to get back from injury. But how much excitement is it to you know play with him and his future as well on the line? I'm very excited, man. He had, he called me once he figured out, I think five minutes when it was released and we were just going crazy on FaceTime, man. Cause I told him like in the beginning of the year that he's a very smart player, you know, he's young and, um, but he's very smart to be that young and that smart. He's very smart. So I know if he stays healthy, you know, he's going to ball out. Thanks, so man. I'm just Congratulations. excited. Yeah. Appreciate you though. Daryl Wilms, Mookie Hawkins, Waffle Sports 1080, man, congratulations on the deal. Thank you. Now, um, we know the type of season that everybody had to go through dealing with the pandemic and stuff like that. Um, strength and conditioning. You know, how important was that to, you know, just to get you to play, you know, to, to play the way you played each week? Um, it's, it's definitely very important. Um, I know with COVID, it, it messed up a lot of things, but it gave us players a lot more time to actually get in shape. I would say, I mean, it definitely helped me and helped my knee too, because, you know, when you head back in OTAs, you're pretty much hitting workouts and then you're back at it again on the field. So I think it definitely helped me out. Um, like I said, as far as my knee and getting stronger. Absolutely. And, um, you coming in as a free agent, I know being wanted you, uh, you know, a couple of years before you finally got here, uh, what did you see in Buffalo that people miss on while actually playing? You talking about, you're saying what people miss on about playing in Buffalo? Well, like I, before you got here, I'm quite sure, you know, you hear things about what players say, just going through Buffalo, but what do they actually miss on now that you actually are a part of Buffalo? What do people miss on? I would say like, like we've been saying, the fans, first off, the fans are amazing. And I hope to get, you know, I hope to be to uh, be able to experience all the fans in the stadium this year. Um, 
obviously the culture and the organization, man. It's just, it's amazing, man. I love it. Hey, I'm the only ingredient you need to go out there and make you play the way you play. Good job this year, man, and um, stay healthy this year. Appreciate you, man.